Hi everyone, Colour Me AMT. Thanks so much for joining me. In this video I'm going to be showing you my Uni Toys dog collection. There are quite a few to go through so we'll jump straight in and I will show you this big boy here which is the Husky. He is very big and I'll just show you. So he's quite long so he's probably about 50 centimeters or half a meter and he's got a brown harness on. This one I got off eBay uh, quite a while ago. He was pre-loved. He doesn't have his cardboard hang tag or anything, but he still has his tush tags attached. I don't think I gave him a name. Nope. So open to name suggestions for this big boy. He's beautiful. He's got sort of like a brown leatherette nose and beautiful blue eyes there. So there's that one. I'll bring out the, all the huskies that I have so far one by one so you guys can see. So this next little one is super cute, it's got such big eyes and I assume that's why they've called it Big Eyes Dog. This one I don't think I named either, no, no name for this one, this one's very cute, I love the fluffiness around the face, it's um, I did show you guys the Big Eyes Fox in my previous video, it's from that same range, so there's the Husky from the Big Eyes range. This is one that I got for my birthday a few years ago. It's got really beautiful blue eyes, like quite different in colour compared to this one here. Like they're like a like a real aqua -y blue, which is really pretty. So this one is nine inches. No name on this one. So we'll have to come up with a name for this cutie. Probably something to do with the colour blue. Because she's got those beautiful blue eyes. There's that one. This next one here just looks so happy to me, the little face on this one. It's very, very cute. This is a 24 centimeter dog. Don't think, no, oh, I need to get better at naming my plushies. <laughs> so this one is super duper cute and it's in that lying down position. This next one has been cuddled a lot, so she probably could use a good brushing. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can just see how they stand up against being cuddled a lot like she's still in pretty good condition from being cuddled many many times so she's got a lovely light gray color to her and I love again the texture that they've used um, on the materials they're using on these uni toys plush they're very lovely quality and also yeah just very detailed so that one oh there she goes Here's another cutie who has very interesting coloured eyes, a different kind of blue again, like you can see that aqua colour, you can see the light. And then this one's different again, almost like an aquamarine shimmery blue, which is really pretty. This one again has got that black leatherette nose. This one was made for the Carl Dick collection, but it is uni toys as per the tag here. So if anyone's got any husky name suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I do need to name a fair few of these ones. There's that one. Here is another one with that similar coloured eyes. This one is slightly bigger. I'll just show you. You can see, so that one's a bit smaller and then this one here is a bit larger. Got that similar face and the beautiful eyes though. This one is the 15.5 inches version. Again, no name. There you go. So that one's beautiful. Okay. And this is another husky. This one has sort of shorter ears. It's almost like a Malamute. Um, but it has that black leatherette nose. Lovely colouring on the body. I think this one I did name. Yeah, this one I named Coda. <laughs> so that's Coda. Very lovely. Alrighty. This is another husky. It sort of reminds me of the National Geographic one that I have seen on Amazon. I haven't seen it in hand, but it sort of looks similar in the picture. It does have a lovely collar and a bit of a leash attached to it. So they've called it 10 inch husky by Uni Toys. No extra name or information there for you guys, but it's very sweet and it's got lots of pink airbrushing detailing on the ears and a little bit of brown around the eyes so it's a little bit different 
in terms of colouring from the other grey and white ones. Okay. This next husky is black and white, which I always love to see, and some different ones. I would love to see actually just a plain white husky or some more red and white huskies. Um, I know obviously the Lapland UK huskies are quite wide in range in terms of colours, but it'd be nice to see some other brands bring out some more colourful huskies too. But anyway, I love this one. This one too has had super duper amount of cuddles. I got this one quite a while ago now. Um, yeah, I named her Summer. So I got her on the 31st of December in 2013. And I just remember it was like incredibly hot on that day. And I was like, this is really Summer. And then this cutie came in the mail. I'm like, that is her name. Her name will be Summer. So that's where she got her name from. Here is a larger version of Summer because I love my little Summer so much. I got the medium version of her. So there they are together. Not sure if I gave this one a name. This is a 14 inch one. No, she doesn't have a name. So open to name suggestions for this. I, I keep calling her a she. It could be a boy. Boy or girl? I haven't quite decided. Is that one. I will, of course, as I always do, update their names on my Instagram account, which is also Color Me Ape. And here's another black and white one, which when I first saw it, I wasn't quick enough and they sold out on eBay, this one, I assume, because it's just so interesting. Like, I love, like, almost like a mask over the eyes, which is really awesome. This is a 15.5 inch version. Obviously, they came back in stock, actually messaged them and asked them um, at the time. And they were like, yes, we're getting more. <laughs> so this one, I named her Raven. So there she is. She's beautiful. I just love her. It's so different from all the other Huskies. So those are all the Uni Toys Huskies that I have. I'll just pause and bring out the next round of plush so that I don't get confused. And then I, you don't have to sit here watching the bed. <laughs> so I'll just pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so next up we have my Shepherds. So this is a white Shepherd on the left and then the rest of them are German Shepherds. We'll just have a look at this one first, who is super duper cute and so unique. I love the colouring in the pink. It's just such a soft pink they've used in the ears here. I'm not sure what type of Shepherd, it just says Shepherd on the back of the tag there. This one does not have a name. It does have that collar and the lead on it though, which is really cute. There's that one. This next one here, which is in that constant state of having a head tilt, and I love it. It's so cute. Is the German Shepherd. Again, this one reminds me similar to the one that you can get now from National Geographic. It looks, I don't know, just from the picture when I saw it on Amazon, I almost bought it because I was like, wow, that's so cute. And then I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> I have one very similar. So there's this one, which is really cute. It's 10 inches German Shepherd. Some uni toys no name but there's that cutie and this next one is in that same position similar to that husky with the aqua eyes that I showed you and just look how beautiful this one's eyes are too they're almost orange they're so cute so there's this one again that nine inch size no name so I've got my work cut out for me guys naming some of these cuties and then I also have a big eyes version of the German Shepherd as well, same as the Husky, that 7 inches size. This one is very cute, this reminds me of the um, Cardi Blanche or Cuddly Critters range. I think I really struggled to get the German Shepherd in that range, this is why I got it in this brand from Unitoy, the 6 inch version. It's super duper cute and lovely and soft. And then... Okay, and the last one that I have in the German Shepherds is this one, which is a 15.5 inch size. Nope, okay, no name. So there's this one, she's very cute, he or she I should say, and it's got that black leatherette nose and the beautiful airbrushing detail in the ears. There's that one. Those are the Shepherds. I'll just pause and bring out the next round of plushies for us to look at. Okay, so I've brought out a different kind of group for us to look at. We've got some Dalmatians, Labradors, there's a Golden Retriever in there, and then we have here 
our pointer to have a look at. So we will just jump straight in with these Dalmatians. This is another one that I have cuddled a lot, a lot, a lot, and it's still in very beautiful condition. Don't, uh, no, didn't give it a name, but I wrote the date when I got it. So I got this one back in 2017. So there's that one. And this next one is similar to that husky that I showed you previously. Just got a bit of my own dog's fur on her. There she is. So there's a beautiful lying down Dalmatian. Sorry if you can hear my little toddler in the background. Hubby's watching here at the moment. So there's this one. This next one I believe I named Arlo because it reminded me of the little dog um, when we were watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, Arlo. <laughs> It's very similar to that one, um, the German Shepherd and the Husky that I showed you a moment ago with that lead on it. Here's another 24 centimeter one. This is the Labrador. Mini toys. And then here we have another big eyes one, which is very cute in that sitting up position from the seven inch big eyes range. And this next one here, I think, I mean, you could almost kind of go with Labrador, but to me it seems a little bit more fluffy and it's got that darker golden colour through it. So I think it looks like a golden retriever. It just says small dog <laughs> on the tag, but um, for my own collection, I'm going to say it's a golden retriever. It's just that's a little bit more fluffy and longer fur to me. So there's the golden retriever. And this next one, which is a Leosco for Uni Toys. This is the only one I have with this red um, little pendant, I suppose. This is the German Pointer, who's beautiful. Got a little bit more writing on this one's tag compared to some of the other ones. Uh, no name for this one, though, so I'll get around to naming it. I'll just keep bringing out some more because we've got a little bit of room on the bed here. Okay, so here we have the golden and white spaniel which is super duper cute there's that one and i also have its twin the black and white spaniel which is very cute i love the detailing that they've got on the back don't think no neither of those two have names but those two cuties here we go and while we're here we'll bring out some more here we have a boxer there's a boxer. It says with belt, but it's like the collar and the leash. So there you go. That one, no name. <laughs> trying to go through quickly, guys, so that we don't uh, run out of time and keep you waiting for so long. This next one is quite interesting. I think it's the only type of Shetland sheepdog um, that I have in my collection with these colorings, like that golden brown and the black and the white. It's really unique. So it says here that there were two, two assorted. So I'm not sure what color the other one was. This is the one I chose. So there's that one, which is really lovely. And then we have here, I just love the eyes on these positioned ones. So this is another nine inch lying down one. I believe this is a St. Bernard. It looks like a St. Bernard to me. So that's a cutie. Another one in that lying down position, I'm going to go with Beagle because it's got that black colouring. Another nine inch laying, lying dog. It's got beautiful eyes. I just love the eyes on this sort of, yeah, as I said, that nine inch position. Okay, and here we have a little Chihuahua, which is really cute and has such big eyes. You can see there, it's a nine inch one. I assume there was another coloured one that you could have gotten. So this one I named Dobby, <laughs> big Harry Potter fan over here. Just the eyes got to me, the big eyes like Dobby from the movie. There's Dobby. And another one, another Chihuahua that I have is this smaller one, which is a cutie. So this is a 6.5 inch one. I don't think this one got a name. No. So that's that one. I'll just clear some of these cuties off the bed and make room for the next lot. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. 
Okay, so this is the last round of Uni Toys Dog Plush that I have. As I said, there's quite a few, and um, thank you so much for your patience if you've watched this far. I'll get through these guys quickly to you. So this is a mountain dog, a Bernese mountain dog it looks like. A 24 centimeter one, very cute. This is another one, similar colouring, um, but this one's a little bit more fl fluffy and also floppy. It's got their new floppy mountain dog. This one I named Truffles, I think. Yeah, Truffles. <laughs> so there's Truffles, which is a very cute one. This next one here at the back we've got with the little red bow is the Yorkie, the Yorkshire Terrier, who has very sweet colouring about her. I don't think I gave it a name. Nope. No name for that one. The next one we have is a little Char King Charles Spaniel. Love the detailing on the ears. As you can see, it's got the airbrushing and also the crinkles, which is really cute. So that's an 8 inch one. And then we have here a Bull Terrier, who's got beautiful pink airbrushing on him as well. He's very sweet. Bull Terrier. And then we have a Westie, a West Highland Terrier, who sometimes gets lost amongst all the fur. <laughs> but again, beautiful detailing. And this one also has that collar and the lead, as you can see. It's sort of in a sitting position. So, Bull Terrier. Okay. And this is another little Beagle, who's really cute and is that 24 centimeter size. I think I've got all five. I just noticed it says there five assorted. I think I've shown you guys five of these, so I must have uh, brought all five. <laughs> so there's those. And the last one here is a Chow Chow, who's super duper cute and often gets lost underneath the eye, uh, the fur with the eyes there. It's very, very cute. I think this one I named Bear. Chow Chow Bear. This was another one produced by the Osco for Uni Toys, but my this one doesn't have that red pendant like the pointer did. But anyway, that's the Chow Chow, who's super duper cute. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Le please let me know if you've got any name suggestions that popped into your head while we were watching, or if you've um, got any of these and you really love it um, and you want to show me. If you've got an Instagram or a YouTube channel where you've got your plush on, let me know. Love to give you guys a follow and support you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I hope you're staying safe. Thanks guys. Bye.